Okay guys, so today, starting this out by, you know the drill by now, doing the warm-ups, doing the movement exercises, um, and today is my deadlift day. It's probably, it's, this will be the heaviest deadlift I've done. It'll be a PB for me in terms of rep-wise, so 370, 380 kilos, that's a plan. Anywhere between two to five reps, so I like to hit three reps. So we'll get that done. We had a bit of a busy week so far already where we're down at Ryan Terry's, which you would have seen probably by now, uh, which was really cool. Nice to see Ryan's gym. The start of the year is busy, so start as we mean to go on. Excited for today's session. You've got to remember as well, no matter what day it is, I've got to approach each day, each training session as it's, as I always do, come in, bike, warm up, movement prep, get ready, get the suit on. Doesn't matter if I'm doing 501 kilo deadlift or if I'm doing 201 kilo deadlift. Those preparations are what makes it work. As I've said, you know, last time we filmed 350 for five, which was a really good set for me, really happy with that. But just approach everything the same and that's what I'm gonna do today. Hope you enjoy the video. I try not to get too mental. Won't be talking about tomatoes and vines today, I don't think. It just depends. See what happens. Woo. It's funny, sometimes with... Uh, obviously, sorry, before I start my protein. Little sashes. I really like these. As I've said every time I take them on camera. But when I do, like cardio, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes like, I feel a bit like claustrophobic. You know, when your heart goes up, you're like, <sighs> and you take my hat off and I feel like you take my jumper off and stuff. I have that feeling of claustrophobia. But that passes after 10 seconds or so. It's just the you know, elevated heart rate, that's all it is. But, oh, it's as cold as ice. I'm in the sacrifice. So we got this from Brian Shaw, actually. Just a wee massage gun. Fancy. Oh, this helps loosen off my hips a little bit. And it allows me to get into a better position. Oh, it's quite tight. And all that does is just holding that for a minute or so. Oh, it just helps loosen it off. So say if you're struggling to get, get down into a position, a deadlift position, and there's a part of you that's really tight, just holding the gun on, oh, it just allows me just to get a little bit looser, a little bit better position. Yeah, it was really nice when we were out at, at Brian's competition last year. He had all these massage guns, so they're really nice. Probably one of the best ones I've used, actually. So I think we've got Big Tom coming in to give us a hand with the deadlifting as well. Sorry, the setting up. I think Tom was banging out 400 for, for reps last night for fun, so he's looking quite strong. And that is us. Pop! So I just keep this in my car now rather than take it in and out because I had a habit of leaving it back home. Oh. So I always find after travelling and stuff, my hips get really tight. So I can feel it on these ones today. These. Oh. Eyes closed. Big Tom here. Lurking, he's lurking. You can't do anything, see when you try and get a nipple twister to him. No, no, you can't. Darn it, I forgot exactly. I'll come in and help you. Is that you? Not yet, too sexy. This is so wizard. Imagine that as a wizard. Tom playing Gandalf. So today, as I've said, deadlifts, work up to 350, see how 350 goes. 
So do a single at 350 and then be kind of 370, 380, um, which will be a nice, nice working set. I put up um, all the reds on initially, so it's like 50 kilo, 50 kilo jumps. So um, the red plates are 25 kilos, whatever that is in pounds, who knows, and then work up to that and then, yeah, let's see. 350, so we're at uh, 120. <laughs> Mix this before we came into the gym. smooth as you like. Oh, so nice that flavour. When I'm deadlifting, if you want to know, you'll be probably asking why I put my suit on so early and why I put my straps on so early as well. I like to have everything ready, sorted. So when I'm using a suit for deadlifting, it takes me a few sets to get into it. And because I'm training grip, so I've got a grip session after this deadlift session as well. So I want to conserve my grip uh, because we use we use our uh, SPD deadlift straps and we can use our straps in competition. For me, there is no point in tiring my grip out any more than it needs to. So I conserve my grip as much as possible. I'll do a couple of sets, just um, raw, and then, then that's me kind of into it now. So this one is 220 kilos. So that was the final warm-up done. So I'm going to put on 380 and give that a wee, a wee tickle. That'd be nice just to do. Yeah, double, two, three reps at that, that'd be good. That's the game. That's where you take the breath at the top and then bang straight back in. Boom. So, that's the top set done. Yeah, relatively happy with that. To be honest, 350 didn't move as nice as it should have done. So doing a double at 380, that's the most I've ever done in the gym. So I know when I come to a competition, there's going to be more there. So to do a double, double at 400 would be nice. What is it? Is it 360? 400, yeah, so there's plenty of reps there at 360. Bare minimum, a rep at 400. You know, you've got the big boys like like Tommel. You know, destroy the deadlift. Adam Bishop's good at deadlift. Gav's looking good at deadlift. So some good deadlifters, but for me, all, I'm, all I've ever said to myself is I can only do what I can do, you know. There's good guys at everything. So I go in the mindset, that's given me a real boost. Yeah, that's it, so. Happy enough, guys. It's nervous, so see you when you're, just before you go on left. You always get that little, oh, that little flicker of nerves. Cometh the day, cometh the hour. We will show up. Next up. Yeah, back extensions. Five sets of 10. Countable. Oh, jeez, oh, that's such a horrible exercise. 
watched the uh, Sound of Freedom last night. Anyone watched that? Mental. It's based on a true story. Apparently, according to that movie, they were saying there's more people in slavery now than there is when slavery was, like, legal, which was still mental. That's mad. It makes you, it makes you worry what we're, what about? I'll probably get arrested. <laughs> Bill Clinton here, and I see you're talking about children slash child slavery. <laughs> oh, come on, boy. That's so disgusting. So. I know there's uh, studies that, well, I don't know, I've never read them, but I've been told by people getting yourself psyched up or getting yourself in the right mindset doesn't really make a difference scientifically. You know, it's not, the proof isn't there or whatever. Again, fact check me, I don't know if it's this is true or not, but I know from my own personal experience, I have to be in that right mindset to lift heavy stuff. So, yeah, that's just, obviously just for me, I'm just, because this is a raw strong man, this is, the raw me. So I need to be in the right mindset. And I think today I probably wasn't in the same mindset as when the last time we filmed a few weeks back when we did 350 for five reps or whatever. It felt like something a bit different, I guess, because sometimes when you do something you've not done before, you're kind of going into the unknown for yourself, even though that was a, 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 good, double, a good double for me. I know there's more reps for me, you know, three, maybe four reps I should be getting. So, although it's the first time me doing it, I still want more, which is, which is a good sign. But I'm really, really happy actually, because I can feel that progression coming. Everything, I feel fit, I feel, you know, um, yeah, I just, I just feel good at the moment, which is nice. Um, I haven't felt like this. In a, in a long time, to be honest, so, um, yeah, got a, got a point to prove in 2024 to myself that I'm, got a point to prove, got a wee manny coming in, man, got a wee boy, oh, he had hiccups last night for the first time, um, I felt him kicking, whatever, because he said, oh, he's got hiccups, and it was like, you could, he, like, it was like a, so Cushy's better, I had my hand on it. Oh, it was so funny. Not to anyone else watching, but to me it was hilarious. And then he was like wriggling around and, oh, he feels strong, man. He feels like, I don't know. You can, you can feel that connection already. So I got nothing to prove, I don't give up. I don't give up. I don't give a hoot. Be happy with what you got. Because you only get one chance. One chance, one opportunity. Let's do 20. See, mindset, that was easy. When the mind is good, the body will perform. That is a fact. Science me that big boy. Here's a question for people. A bit weird. I know people watching this, you've all, like a lot of you had kids and stuff, and I'm acting like, oh my God, that's amazing. But who thinks before they were born, like, what if, like, your kid's destined for like something mental that we can't even like fathom. Like, because there's got to be someone out there that can fix this place. Because it's happened before. I'm not saying our kids like that, but obviously, from an ego point of view, you know, it'd be pretty cool. The wee man's like cutting around, and I don't know. 
or maybe he's just the happiest person. He's like super happy. He gives to people, he's kind. He's unique and individual, but part of like the community. You know, he does stuff for the communities. He's good, he's, he's nice. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I went on a tangent there. I was basically gonna call my son Jesus. And then I just want him to be happy and part of the community. Yeah. I don't want him to die on the cross. Jeez, that'd be horrible. No chance. Oh, God. Just a bit of grip, mate, to finish off. Oh, that was good. It's actually quite handy, that. <laughs> I know, huh? I'm so happy. What have you done? Right, my, I had to get a new phone. It was my other phone. I think it was water damaged. Apparently they're not waterproof. But, um, so I was like, oh, I'm an old man case, because I always, I don't like carrying a wallet, so all my bank cards and that are in here. But this is magnetic, right? So this bit's magnetic, so I can pop it there. And then I can see like the timer and stuff. You know, so if I've got, so this is like 15 second holds. I can look at that. Oh, that's it, job done. Hey, you monkey. <laughs> All right, boys. Nice to see you guys, just rolling a wheel. Any guesses who this wheel was for? The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Harry Stoltman. So, yeah, so does everyone else in this world, apart from one in particular person. So yeah, warehouse today. You might notice I'm wearing something a little bit spicy. Cheeky little orange number, a little bit spicy. So this is going to be released very soon online and in the shop. But today we have events days, so as always I set up my uh, throw bags. Let's hope, uh, let's hope the, rogue, the rogue throw bag doesn't explode today, that'd be nice. Um, so doing some throw bags, so I'll do about 15 minutes of that, um, arm over arm. So I might try something a little bit different because we've been sitting on the mats. You can't get your hips into it, if that makes sense. So when you're sitting down, you want to slide back and forth along it. So I just want to try something a little bit different, see if it works. If not, it doesn't matter. So doing armor over arms, about four sets of that, I think I've got to do today. Um, and then Atlas Stones at the end. This is about two weeks out, so we've got next week still to train for, for Brits. Dan is up today as well with Tom. So he's going to be helping Tom do some bits and pieces. So yeah, Harry and I are just going to crack on with it. Get on with training. Don't sleep on me yet. I'm starting to feel good. I'm starting to feel quite juicy. So who knows what can happen. If I win it, would I be the oldest Britain's strongest man? 39 years young. Who knows? We're there to have fun anyway. Baby on the way. Who gives a f um, Right. I've been in, I've done my assault bike. I also do kettlebell swings some goblet squats and some wall ball throws. So, should be all warmed up. one I was probably too far forward and as I let go I'm kind of falling it back so the trajectory if you can imagine if I'm throwing it back and I'm 
it's just going straight up as opposed to up and over. So again, it's a lot to do with your like release point. I'm not by any means an expert, but Tom can throw from away over here and the trajectory, because he's quite tall, I'll keep going up, keep going up, but I'll always go back the way as well. Whereas I've got to get more of, I get more of an arc, like a higher arc, and then it drops down. Um, that's what it is. That's the first set of sandbags done, so it was okay, not too bad. Always got to remember as well, for me, it doesn't... When I see, like, say, Tom or Brian or whoever, like, throwing the bag so far over it, it doesn't matter how far the bag goes over, as long as it goes over, you know, and then the time usually stops when it hits the ground, so that's something I have to remember as well. I'm not going to probably be able to throw it as high as them, which is fine. So I was just going to say as well, yeah, a huge... We've also been running this competition on the Strength Academy, the Stoltman Strength Academy. So we're looking for people to commit for 16 weeks. The offer kind of ends end of January. So we've had some amazing interest. So thank you so much to each and every one of you for showing interest. And it's really good. We've got our first call with the Strength Academy members of the year next Thursday. Um, so that'll be cool to see how everyone's getting, up, getting on with their training and progressing because that's what we really want to do is like see people progress, take that accountability as well and, and use us to, you know, learn from and whatever it is. Even that little bit, you know, don't get caught up in other people's success or non-success, just concentrate on yourself. And that's what we want you to do is concentrate on yourself and focus on yourself and be the best version of yourself after the 16 weeks. And then, as we've said, there's some amazing prizes to be had. So thank you so much. And on that note, Mr. G-O-A-T himself, that means go, that means greatest of all time. Big Tommy Stoltman might just be in the building. Ah, oh, we love you, Tom. And Dan. <laughs> 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 oh no! What an idiot! Yeah, buddy, I'm good. Let's get this party started. I feel we have to acknowledge the t-shirt, Tom. What t-shirt? Scooter? Hey. I'm ready. Are you enjoying the raw, strong man? Thank you for the nice comments, by the way. We are not too sure if you'd like it, the kind of raw style, um, but this is us. This is what we do on a daily basis. It's something that makes us happy. So, and you guys make us happy as well. But with that being said, what do I do when I have to do something? I start speaking. Would you give us a wee hand as well? <laughs> Here, do you want to see something impressive? Come on, boys. <laughs> boom, boom, boom! Oh, the way! Now you throw it and I'll catch it, right? Jesus, Tom. Right, throw it one more time, I'm going to do it. Ah, no cylinder! 
<laughs> yeah. And he'll just do like this in about 10 seconds and then that's it. Nice. Just class that. Good. 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 Nice. Really good. It's quick. Wonderful fields of happiness, of joy, of love, of purity. When you feel the flow of magical, wonderful stuff, that's all it is. That's all it is. It's just stuff. We do not know. We are just apes in disguise. Mwahaha. Right, Tommy boy. My reps. Come on, easy reps, Tom. Come on. Progressive Tom. Here you go. Come on. Nice. Here you go. Here you go, Tom. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice, Come on. Tom. Come on. Good Tom. Come on. Big pop. Come on. Here you go. Come on. Come on, come on, big pop. Good nice, top. Tom. Come on, there you go, easy. <laughs> Let's go, Tom. Oh, easy work, Tom. Come on. There you go, beautiful. Lovely, come on. Come on. Good. Go, Tom. One more. Let's go, Tom. Come on. 
Come on, Tom. Nice. Come on. Aggressive, Tom. Come on, big pop. Hold it, Tom. There you go. Yeah. 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 Let's go, Tom. Come on. Nice, Tom. Come on, explode, Tom. Power. Easy. Nice, come on, Tom. Children of all ages, welcome to the Freak Show, featuring Tom, the gigant horse the strongest man in the world. Oh, you yeah. Oh, I slipped right out of you. Yeah. Sorry, hurt. Tug of war thing, you know, when you go against all the people, you let go. Nice, sir. Brilliant. Come on. Easy. Come on, sir. There you go. Good. Good, sir. Come on. Come on. Get those hips back in. Back in quick. There you go. Come on. Come on. You got it. Come on. Big drive. Come on. Pull. There you go. That's it. That's it. Come on, that's it. Good, Tar. That's it. <laughs> it was over the line. Good job, jeez. Yeah, seven reps, 162 KL. So I did one more just to kind of feel the fatigue. And uh, to win this event, seven or eight will be the, be the number to win, I think. Um, I fix that so the wheels is hard. So seven reps, nice and happy. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to go home now, but I need to train. <laughs> What my life feels like sometimes, right? Oh my God. Through the eye of a camera. What is it you want to see? Because I am just a performing monkey. Oh God. Sometimes you feel like you're losing your mind. Good session today, mate. I enjoyed it. Nice to see Big Tommy push it a wee bit as well. Hello, my name is Luke. I've been mummified. To the camera now. Come on. Big legs, come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Hips in. There you go. There we go. Hips in. Let's go, Tom. There you go. That's not fair. Yeah. Me and Harry were fine not moving it, and then Tom started pulling on That's 180 kilos. That's probably 140. It's like slowly shifting it up. Come on. Get in the rhythm, come on. Come on. Beautiful. Yeah. There we go, Tom. Come on. Keep fighting. Now we make up there. Come on, pull. There you go. I'm pull. There you go. That's it. Use the hips. Come on. Okay, guys. So you know what time it is. Time to do some stones. It's easy, isn't it?
where you set the stone, so it's the stones round, and we set it up a certain way every time, so you know if you set it up the right way, there's going to be plenty of tarky on the stone that you can reuse. If you, like, fuck it 90 degrees out, there's not as much tarky, so it's a little bit more slippy, so it's just something to look out for. That's what, you know, we do these comps, giants, they give us an opportunity to go out and recheck the stones, the positions. So it's always important just to make sure you're happy with that position. And if you need to reapply a bit of tacky um, on the stones, then you'll take that time just to do that because it can really cost you. I go back to Cardiff last year from me making podium to not making podium because of the mistake in the stones. So um, very important to make sure. So hopefully at Britain's that's what I'll do. Well, uh, Go in gang ho like a madman, but a madman at peace, tranquil, happiness, full of love, full of joy. The most beauty and most inspiring life imaginable. Imagine that. Imagine if you could wake up every day and feel like that. Well, you can take a step into the unknown, go into the cold, go into the water, go into nature. Look at the sun. Be happy, be beautiful, be peaceful. My body is strong, I cannot feel pain unless it's taking tape off my skin because it hurts an awful lot. Hey guys, that's uh, my event's done. Sorry about the little uh, bit of mental breakdown. No, not mental breakdown, just having a little bit of fun, aren't we guys? That's what it's all about. Yeah, happy. All good. Only broke the throw frame once today, so it was nice. So this will be out next week. So tomorrow we're going down to Aberdeen. We've got a wellness wellness festival in Aberdeen. So that'll be really good. Gonna get down for a swim, see some cool people, have a chat. Big Dan's up as well, so he's coming down. I think then Tom and Dan are gonna go find some rocks, because that's our thing. Happy. Wanna go and chill? It's Friday night. Boom! Every night's Friday night. Go buy some my protein. I go buy some Stolten merch. Because we love you all. Anyway, that's enough, I'm done. Right, see you later, guys. Right guys, uh, another event session done, another week done. Probably my best week of training in a long time. My deadlifts are feeling very, very strong. Best my deadlifts I've felt ever, so that's a good thing for me. You know, obviously last year my deadlift was going on and off, but really tapping them in hard. I think training for Arnold and Britons is really helping. I think the raw strength is then transferred into the suit, so that's good. Axel, seeing the day one, six two-ish for seven, which was good again. I think Axel's so much higher than Log for a lot of people. I always say this, but training plates, 
on, a, on an axle so much different than training wheels. Yeah, arm over arm, it's just, again, this is most of training arm over arm, and I came second to Kiwi Koski in it in Rogue, and bags is good. First set was a bit slow, second set was faster. Again, with bags, it's just, you just chuck and go. And then stones, you can see there, they're like 16 seconds at the stones. This is the worst, probably, place to train at the stones. Anyone that trains at the stones here and can load all five stones, you're in a very good place for comp. And then I did a wire wee run in with 120. I'm so much better at running in with the stones and having momentum. I don't know, I think it just, with the momentum, when I'm just going straight at it and pick it up, I think it's just much better. So, yeah, every, all in all, for great session. I'm just training hard. I'm staying in my own focus and in my lane. I'm not putting crap all over social media. You know, if I started doing that last year and trying to play games with athletes and stuff. It doesn't work. Let's just do what I did in 2021, 2022. Just focus on myself. Yeah, I'm fully committed to what i got to do. I'll literally... I'll go above, above and beyond this year to get everything I want and I'll go above and beyond to get the World Strawless Man title back. If you guys are watching this and you're going to Britain Strawless Man, please, every single one of you stand up for my uh, walkout song. I change my walkout song. I get so pumped and jacked up when I do it. So yeah, it's an absolute banger and every single person is going to love it. Every single person knows the song. Nobody knows, not even Luke, not even our media guy Tom. And as soon as the walkout comes on, I want every single person on their feet. I'll be saying this at the VIP thing as well, but it's going to get me rallied up and ready to go. Let's get it on and let's get ready to rumble, because I am ready. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy.